the street and down into the big bottom bench. You do like the big bottom bench, do you? Downshift down, he can blow the throw, oh, steady on sir. As you can see, the BMW is perfectly poised, almost perfect balance, 50 50 mid. down in this beautiful AMG SL63, 6.2 litres V8 and over 440 horsepower. The clock is all that the, all that the stick is worried about, so let's find out who really does own the track. Over to you, Mr. Starter. A beautiful, beautifully controlled getaway. Straight into action round that Hammond head and already he's looking every inch the master that we know he is. Mark 1. Tastel, a slightly older generation. It's my 
driver's not warming up yet. Come on, guys. Okay, well now I've got what every girl wants in her pit lane. It's a brace of Porsches. From the mid-90s with 180 mile an hour, 450 brake horsepower. Jumped! Knocked up, beautifully anticipated. Oh, we did that. We had wheel spins. <laughs> and, well, we had wheel spins, but there was no the huge one to join the match. I'll give you that. Two down, we've got one back. Now it's time to fire up the quattros because behind me it's Gene Hunt's favourite from the 1980s. It's the Apple. Nice oh my goodness me, we're struggling here. Come on, keep your foot in, keep your foot in. Oh, it's close. Oh, my fifth of a second in. We look, look at that, half a car's length. I reckon that is, uh, is that 2-2 two -two now, Mattel? It's all down to that. Nice oh my goodness me, we're struggling here. Come on, keep your foot in, keep your foot in. Oh, it's close. Oh, my fifth of a second in. We look, look at that, half a car's length. I reckon that is, uh, is that 2-2 two -two now, Mattel? It's all down to that. 400 was the final sort of version of the Noble M12. It was the M12 that really launched Lee, Lee Noble's name onto the map. We designed this car, we all got it and drove it. Suddenly it's had this fantastic handling car. We all reveled in it. But the first version only had about 340 horsepower. This final one had 425 horsepower, which gave it a power to weight ratio of 400 horsepower per tonne. Hence the model number. <coughs> yes, your heavyweight look, it's much heavier. Obviously, it's going to lose. Again. Well, actually, it's not because it's less than 1200 kilos, so only a couple of hundred kilos lighter, less than that. Lots of carbon fiber up here, big engine in the back. And a driver with a more Larry shirt than you, with a little button in there that has three positions, Tiff. Well, it sounds like you cheat. 450, 550 and 650 horsepower. So ladies and gentlemen, shall we have 450 horsepower over here? Yes. No, no, of course we won't. This is Top Gear Live. 550 horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. No. The full fat, hairy chested, big man's foot on the floor. 650 horsepower? Yes! Sean. Let's go racing! This is the decider, ladies and gentlemen. Raw power against Pretty Car. Oh, he's catching, he's catching. Not. That is a decisive victory for the younger generation. You can go home, Grandad, when you rate your 3 2. Drag race. This is my track, and I don't I rely on the people who used to build the Robin and of course four-wheel drive. Becky, you had too much poly last night. It's four-wheel drive. You forgot that I knew, but it's actually it's selectable. And right now it's selecting no four-wheel drive. No, it's found a gear and it's off again. The only problem is early four-wheel drive systems are very much in front of the rear, so I think it would have just locked the rear tires. Something like here means it's a problem. Yeah, so that doesn't seem to be giving you even more of its horsepower. Then it's up to 750 horsepower. Here's the split. Yeah, 37, 4 seconds down after that problem they had. Yes, it doesn't seem to be firing on all four cylinders correctly. The little 2 litre turbocharged engine coming back towards us. I'm not expecting this to set the world alight, I'm afraid, and it doesn't. 51.3 seconds goes into second place of two, I'm afraid, for the Ford RS200. But give them a conservatory round of applause anyway. Like 
Oh no, it's got problems. He's lost a gear. <laughs> oh, you have a problem with the fact of the day. This is what this car was renowned for in the European Tarmac Rally Championship in the mid 80s and really dominated the competition with drivers like John Ray the Frenchman, who's moving his own side of his car. But it's not looking like that little engine is pulling all of the horsepower. Yeah, it's not a happy Renault, is it? The Richie is not happy. Five seconds time down and the split. And that doesn't look happy there either as he can't get the front end turned in. Hasn't got the power to kick the back end out. Not the run that we're looking for for the Richie. And goes into fourth position with 51.867 seconds. And I'm sad to say that is not what the French were looking for. Fourth and slowest of our members. Moving from France to Italy now. Give it up for the RS800 and all our big cars. 